What's going on there, guys? We back with another one, and today we got to talk more about Steven Jackson, man, as he's clapped back at people that was coming at him for checking in the old block. Now, one of the guys that was out there the night that he went to the famous old block, one of the young men was named Ty Mun. I think he was he's 16 years old, but there was a shooting in old block a few days ago where four was it four or five got hit, and uh, this young man is still alive, but you remember. People was going in on Steven Jackson for checking in there. One side of people was going in because they was like, look, you're going there for uh, certain entertainers. But around the corner, they had beef with another group of people that's not just, you know, they ain't just talking. It's been some, some homicides behind that. And so you're actually picking a side and you don't know when those retaliations are coming. So they were saying, you know, you're at your age. You know, going in there at night just to prove a point was not a good look. So, um, Steven Jackson has responded to the news that he was shot. And he says, uh, pray for little bro. He good. I wonder how many people called to check on little bro. How many people made sure him and his mom straight? How many people making sure he eating? Y'all just talk ain't done nothing for nobody but yourself. I'm glad I went to old block. It's bigger than me. 99% of you is selfish and ain't nothing close to real at time on 64 they don't make them like me no more and if you don't remember that old block video i'm gonna put it right here check it out yeah a lot of y'all niggas been old block oh. pulling up taking pictures where we at Tell how they coming. we're in the middle of it Y'all pull up and take pictures and y'all not allowed to. <laughs> and one thing about it, if you're a real one, you don't mind checking in. Checking in. What you say? I check it, I check in with the real one. That's why I'm in that's why I'm in the middle of old block. Where you at? You see the hoop? Where you at? I'm in the middle of old block, nigga. Fuck you mean. Listen, man. Shit you can't pay for. No rap cap. Shit you can't pay for. Fuck you mean. We really out here. Old block. Shot town, nigga. Rest in peace, King Vaughn, nigga. We in the middle of old block, ain't we? Quit playing, man. I'm everywhere, you never there. Hey, the way I reach the people is a lot different than what y'all used to, probably. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot different than what y'all used to. I'm from it. So I can go there, smoke my weed, but still be black and proud. Still leave me with a message of what they can be and what's out there. Whatever y'all don't see and y'all want, y'all can go get it. You know what I'm saying? Where you are right now is not your final destination, bro. This is temporary. You can get up out of this. What the world think you in, you can get up out of it. And I'm living proof. So I ain't your typical activist. I don't call myself an activist. I'm a real one that know how to connect with my people and love being around my people. That's just it. And it ain't for everybody and everybody can't do it. And if you ain't from it, you'll never understand it. So why would you play yourself off the street for some people who ain't got nothing going on when you got everything going on? P.S. They had a lot to say about me going to O Block. They done the toy drive this weekend. I donated a thousand dollars to the toy drive. What y'all gonna do? So this is not gonna go over well with people, you know. Steven Jackson checking on a young man. There's no problem there. It's just um, now, and this is just what I've been reading online. You know, people are saying that they're assuming he's going there because of King Von, Chief Keith, Lil Dirk's affiliation with them, and he's picking that side based on the music and what the attention the music has brought because there's several old blocks you know across america but who knows how many of their musicians or talented musicians passed before they were able to reach that point so some people's point is if you go there then you need to go around the corner to 63rd or right up the road to 63rd and show them the same love um because it looks like you're just doing it for clout. That, that's a lot of people's argument. And Steven Jackson, that that's that was dangerous at the time. You know, I didn't agree with it because you were out there at night when things go down, and you know you could have just you could have wound up being a casualty out there. Uh, checking in with with youngsters, you know, I don't think. I mean, he he's trying to go impromptu. 
and make it look real impromptu standing by King Von's mural and making it look like you know he can just roll up at any time and but I I think he should be at a point in his life where that doesn't mean anything to him to look like you in the trenches you know I mean and I'm gonna say it like this it's nothing wrong to going going to give back or growing going to provide opportunity to people but to go back in the way that he was trying to go back it reeks of ignorance a little bit to me uh, I, I know his intentions may be good, but Steven Jackson has the platform and different things to shed light in a different way um, than he's doing now. But but I'm not going to doubt, you know, his heart or what he means by it. It's just what he has to consider is now you have the people that don't get along with them looking at you like, OK, you you another celebrity that chose their side. Well, when you're over there, what's coming your way is coming your way. Now, I hope the young man recovers, but more importantly than him, I mean, I ain't going to say more importantly, but even as important as his recovery is the changing of his mindset. You know, he's only 16, so I don't know exactly what he's involved in. I don't even follow it at this age, but I did um, a little bit of digging, and one of the rappers from... 600 you know Mimo 600 said that they stood over each other which means you know it was an internal conflict these guys were were uh battling one another and, and the gunplay was internal it wasn't even people that they have issues with outside of that community it was them on you know going at each other so that's another thing I would say Steven Jackson would have had to watch everybody and these project buildings don't get along. It's not everybody is all one. Um, they they could oppose each other for various reasons. I mean, we saw another young man shoot another person that was living over there live, you know, on on Twitter and Facebook, you know. And then they ended up jumping another woman. Like like the woman that recorded the altercation, they jumped her, you know, and beat her. So. I say that to say, you know, there's a way if you want to go back to these communities uh, to give back, uh, to show them a better way. It's a way, but not posting up like Steven Jackson was trying to do. Because I'm going to tell you what, uh, you could have a lot of them that's appreciative of that and and show you love. But it only takes one or two or someone just scoping you out uh, when you leave or when you coming up in there to get you up out the way, man. And Steven Jackson should know that he's from, you know, uh, from an area where he knows how that type of stuff works. So, um, yeah, that's what people saying though. Like Steven Jackson shouldn't be checking in with teenagers and all that. And Steven Jackson is responding saying, how many of y'all actually checking on this dude when he's laying up in a hospital bed? Are y'all checking on his mom? Or are y'all just criticizing me? So I want to know what you guys think in the comments. You know, is Steven Jackson right by saying um, it, people criticizing him ain't actually doing nothing about it? Or is everybody else right? Like, Steven Jackson, why are you checking in with kids? You know, why, why are you checking in in that sort of way, too, where you just want to come out there and post up and take a video for the gram? But look, man, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.